All right, we're here at the Moon Lake Lodge where Salvador came to visit me to come to our rendezvous, Treasure Hunters Rendezvous, here in uh, Moon Lake, Utah. But but be, because told so many people were coming, we had to move it down to Aldemont. But but I'm staying up here at Moon Lake, and uh, Salvador Delgadillo come to see me uh, here, and he well, he's going to start a tradition, and Salvador knows how to start a tradition. He's the one that started the Victory Club that uh, people are just just uh, waiting to try and be nominated to be part of the Victory Club. But Salvador, tell them what tradition you want to start here at Moon Lake for all the treasure hunters that come up here. Uh, in uh, 1982, when, uh, when I went to Tortilla Flat, Arizona, uh, the first thing I saw is the dollar bills hanging all over, all over the ceiling and the walls and everything like that. And I figured that every treasure hunter that come here so hanging hang a dollar to show everybody that been here. And Terry Carter's making sure that he gained his own dollar. So, and that's why what we're trying to do, a start a tradition now, to let people know that we're the hardcore. That's right, man. And so, and so Do Salvador has already got his dollar bill right there hanging up in the Moon Lake Lodge, and, and he's giving me a dollar bill right here. I'm going to sign it. Man, so this is the new tradition for the Moon Lake Lodge. You come in here, you put it, you get your dollar bill, you sign your name on it, and you hang it up on the wall. And Salvador's first, man, and and I'm privileged to be right behind him, right, right behind, behind Salvador. Him. So let me grab this pen, Salvador. Where'd it go? All right. So what'd you put? Your name? No, my name is uh, Apache, the... Apache Trail, but you can put what well, uh, you know, or or in Utah. Oh, there, there you are. All right, I put the date. Today's date is uh, 8 7 21. And we'll have this, this girl hang this up for us. <laughs> Let me get my heart to say. She wanted to look cool. Just remember, today's a one hundred one bill. Next time, we're going to be a hundred, not about a hundred dollar bills. We don't play around. We got money to burn. I think you have to sign it with glitter, though, like a glittery gel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's the first time I've been here, but I'm looking forward to next year. All right, put your hands over your hearts. Just kidding. <laughs> Look okay, at, look at that. Wait, Salvador's wait. number one and I'm number two, man. Let's see more dollar bills going up here in the Moon Lake Lodge. So, so I'm at Moon Lake Lodge, Salvador's number one on signing a dollar and pinning it up. I'm number two and I got, what's your name? Rex Biggers. And where are you from, Rex? Well, I'm in Orem right now. I was raised in Florida, but I've been in Utah for, what, oh, 20 years, something like that. And uh, Rex is number three, man. He's going to sign the dollar and pin it up. Okay. New tradition at the Moon Lake Lodge. You come to the Moon Lake Lodge, man. Sign your name. Date it. Pin it up. Okay. 20, 50 years from now, you can tell your kids, man, your dollar's at the Moon Lake Lodge. <laughs> if they, uh, okay. <laughs> so, Thanks. You're welcome. Uh... Hey Terry, I'm Scott Lewis, and I'm signing dollar bill number four here at Moon Lake Lodge. So. And this is for the for the new tradition that's going on at Moon Lake Lodge, man. Come sign your name, date it, and they'll post it up on the wall. Moon Lake Lodge, and, and uh, number four is going up right now. Let's see how many of these dollar bills we can get up here at Moon Lake Lodge. I'm gonna get famous, right? Yep, you're the cool. you're the dollar bill pinner. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you see anybody else, man? Tell them they gotta they gotta carry the the tradition on forward. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta find some money. Hold on. So we got. Yeah, I got a got a ten. So that's what she can break it. She can break it for you. So we got Salvador. We got the con we got the we got the Kansas City Connection. We got the Kirk and Dan. Oh my God. And they're gonna be number Missouri. 
And they're going to be number five and six on the... We're going with the big bucks. Oh, oh man, they don't... The Kansas don't City boys... The Kansas City don't boys mess don't mess around. That's right. Is, is this illegal to... Uh, yes. No, yes. no, it ain't. Oh, federal felony right here. Yeah. So the Kansas City boys are... Going big time for the tradition, yeah, the new pray, pray with a the new Moon Lake tradition. We're leaving our and put a date on there. there. Put the date on there. That would be eight, seven, twenty-one. Yeah. You got to get a bunch of push pins. You got to tell Greg he's got to get a bunch of thumbtacks to push put these up. Yeah, you have be all over the rafter. Well, we'll be you can be the first one. I got a bunch. We want to be right above the Coca Cola. <laughs> okay, tell her. There it is. The Kansas Official. City boys, man, leaving their mark at the Moon Lake Lodge can't for the, throw the barbecue sauce for the, up there. For the 2021 Moon Lake Gathering, which is now held at Aldemont. And next year will be held at the Salt Lake City Convention Center. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got uh, who we got now here? Krista. Krista. Krista, do you want to tell where you're from? Nope. Sure. Yeah. yeah, okay, where are you from? We're, we're here from Midway. And so Krista and, and Scott, Scott. And Scott and, uh, is going to gonna yeah, be we'll number... Away. They're, good. They're she doing her dollar. Yeah, yeah. Number yeah. six. Number six on the Moon Lake tradition. Start by Salvador. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you mean Midway Island? Is that Pacific? Yeah. <laughs> it's a long way from here. You bought Australia. Yeah, the only big way I know is uh, the islands in the South Pacific. And trail power. Trail power, and here we come. All right. Look, I got pins now. Ah! Oh, Thank you. It's getting serious now. This is serious now. Right here, man, we got one, two, three, four, five, and six all right in this room that's been the first for the Moon Lake tradition. Yeah. Number so. seven right Number here. Number seven. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Nate from Kaysville. Nate from Kaysville. Number yeah. seven. <laughs> you may go to Apache Junction, go to Tortilla Flat, and all over the ceiling, all over the walls, but all over the wall. Really? All right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. Yes, we need to go there. We need to go down there. Go now, up. when you go to uh, you go up Phoenix Apache Junction, and then you do the Apache Trail. Oh, so nice. far, and Tortilla Flat has been there since the 1800s. Yeah. And Goldfield was so, There we go. Man, next time I come up here, that wall's going to be loaded, probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We got one more thing for you, Terry. What do you got? This is the this is the big gift for the this big This is the big gift. Oh, the guy that started it all is for you, man. We got Gates, our personal favorite. Is you guys make this? No, no, no. You just this just yeah. come all the way. These from... are res restaurants no. in Kansas City, and this one's called you know, Night of the Living Barbecue oh Sauce. My God. Oh man, Isn't that spicy. That's for you. You guys are hey, awesome you all the way. That. You don't make your own barbecue sauce if you're from Kansas City. <laughs> all the way from Kansas City. To. These guys came all the way from Kansas City to have, to go to our, our rendezvous. And uh, you guys got some great stories for me because I want to hear them. Maybe later. Okay, Maybe later. I want to interview well, we you. Are, we're technically from Independence, okay. which is the final resting place of Frank James. Oh, really? So, so he, he's so been... He's been out here once or twice. So man, you guys got and some there, stories. And there might on be me. some go. Uh, there might be a Frank James ghost that still haunts that little cemetery that's about the size of this room. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Hey man, I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank you awesome. guys. You see? Yep. Hey, we're uh, we're headed down to to Alamont to get a bite to eat, man. You want to come with us, man? We're headed there now, or we'll see you at the park later. We're gonna, we've never been here, so we're gonna. Oh, you can tour here. Okay. Yeah, 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 but we appreciate it. We'll, All right. We'll be there tonight. You know that. All right. Yeah, I do. All right. <laughs> Tell us about the Blind Frog Ranch first. Do you have you seen the show Blind Frog Ranch? Well, we've watched a little bit. We just know there are a bunch of blind frogs that show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we heard about. So, that. so, yo, know, there's some people that think that there's a, a huge treasure there. Uh, some people think. Uh, Yo, that's the Indian sacred mine, the Kara Shinab. Um, the, oh, they so think Kara Shinab is at Blind Frog Some people, uh, my friend, you know, you, June Bleich, he, yep. okay. he thinks that's there. Oh. And before they 
got this we was going there to do something uh -oh. and then we was gonna we, then we then we came back we found where we wanted to do something at and uh, we come back a year later and it was gated off closed no trespassing so i found out who the owners was i talked with Dwayne, and uh and we i was wanting to get with him and make a deal but then june ended up paralyzed so i never ever no. did do it so he he went in for a neck operation and uh, they messed up, and he walked in and had Black came. frogs and your friends paralyzed. You sure you want to go on there? Yeah, we hey, ready yeah. To go. we're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're ready, ready to go. go. And and, 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 yeah. and there's a lot more to the story that I that I can't tell because there's some things going on with it, and we'll just have to see hey, how it all doing, shakes you, out. We're not telling. Over. We're not saying anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Don't be stingy with your money.